about to head to the gym. Just thought I'd quickly talk about one guy I've been watching on YouTube. His name's Nathan Birch. Um, he's 30 years old and he's got 200 properties. And he's Australian and he came from nothing and just worked his way up, grinded, grinded away, made the right decisions and made mistakes along the way. But he has half a million dollars worth of passive income, retired when he was 24. And it's an amazing story, but there's no fucking secret to it. He has three major keys in property investing. Number one is buying the property under market value. There's plenty of opportunities to do that. Now, this place right here, I probably made the mistake of buying off the plan. Now, buying off the plan is pretty much never going to be under market value. There's so many added costs on there. There's commissions that people are earning through selling them. Um, you're speculating on what the property is going to be worth before it's even bought. So I wouldn't recommend that, to be honest. I probably made a mistake, to be fair. But on my second property, um, I believe I've got an under market value. And also, the, the second major key is buying in a good area, in an area that's going to grow. Now, obviously, you need infrastructure. You need good schools, hospitals. <laughs> you need good incomes um, and you need a vacancy rate that's that's kind of low the last thing you want is an empty house that's just costing you money now obviously you can get insurance policies put in place um, to cover loss of rents if that does happen but at the end of the day you want your property to have good tenants pay the rent on time and stay there forever that's that would be ultimate so I've bought a place that has a has people in place they've got um, there's a renter there's tenants in there until next year they've been there for a couple of years so I'm hoping they just renew it um, and vacancy rates on the Gold Coast or around Coomera area are one percent or lower so that is really low basically that just means people want to live there now the third major key is crunching the numbers man at the end of the day yeah let's talk about negative gearing okay yes there's tax benefits to negative gearing but of course you want a positively geared property i mean that's also going to grow in value so what i'm trying to say is you want your rent um your rental income that you're going to earn from the property to at least almost cover the mortgage if not cover it um, so then in future years when your rent goes up that's going to create a positive cash flow so at the moment I'll probably be putting about 40 to 50 dollars a week of my own money into maintaining this property but in two years time when the rent's gone up 50 bucks it's going to be neutral in another two years it's going to be giving me money not only that but the, the value of the property would have gone up too so i'll get in equity in the property so you know this guy nathan birch has just done that over and over and over again and um fuck he's where he is now so Obviously, you've got to have an income, a decent income, to actually facilitate the first few. But uh, as I said, he retired at age 24, and he's 30 now, and he has 200 properties with $500,000 worth of passive income coming in. It's crazy. So anyway, that's a dream. That is certainly something along the lines of what I want to achieve. <laughs> um, but for now. I think we should probably go and train these pins, get a good pump. So that's what we're gonna do. I've gotta say, man, I'm swagged out to the max right now. Just made the singlet, cut off the teeth, cut off the fucking sleeves as you do. Makes a mean cut off tee. I mean, you like something on the front of your t-shirt, but your sleeves are fucked. Cut them off, man. Cut them off. And then we got the KDs. Kevin Durant's fucking mean. I actually bought um, bought my two pairs of gym shoes while I was in New Zealand last time. So I guess now that I'm going back, I must be doing a new pair, right? So I think that's the first thing I'll do. Let's buy some new shoes when I get there. Anyways, fucking leg day. It's taken me about an hour to get ready, so I'm not gonna lie. Not really feeling it. Haven't heard from my mate either. In fact, I'll call him right now. 
see what he says. chance before I go in and start killing it. Not looking good. Doesn't want to train legs. told me to do arms yesterday so he could do legs today. Otherwise I would have already had legs done. I'm going to start with some stretching and mobility and from there I'll work into some squats, then probably leg press, walking lunges and something for hamstrings. So that's, that's what I think the workout's going to go like. But of course, as always, I'll go ham, I'll kill it. There's no doubt about it, it's just different exercises, that's all. Got some goodies, alright. 